Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, and we're going to be reviewing Freddy at Nightmare on Elm Street today by Guy Lib on location at Rec Bar 812 in Southern Indiana. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Until then, now let's go ahead and get this uh, review underway, shall we? First things first, furnace to the back, you got a little ball lock kick out. Three flipper setup, and as you notice, the Gottlieb flippers point almost straight up on this thing, so that will change the velocity and the targeting of your shot. Traditional setup in lane left right, exit lane left right. Uh, you have Dream Warrior with the scoop, which is glove flipper. It will pull that ball up and drop it to your left flipper. A lane goes all the way around Freddy's head, of course, pop bumpers, targets that are in front of Freddy's head. Furnace kick out lock, and then a captured ball. Uh, to the back right of the, the play field. Pretty simple setup. Moderate difficulty. There's really not a whole lot to shoot at, obviously. And if, if you notice, beyond Freddy's head going in from the left, goes up and around. You also have Freddy's head going in from the right. You have a kick out that exits to your right, have a trail right in lane. But uh, this is a moderate uh, gameplay just because there's not a whole lot to shoot at on this game, believe it or not. I mean, it just, it kind of seems like it's kind of separated. Um, but all in all, not a bad table. I mean, obviously the art uh, that is on this game is what you would expect, kind of dream warrior kind of setup here. It's very light artistically, not superbly great. Uh, the back glass on it and the trans light looks good. The call outs could be better. I think that they could have utilized uh, Freddy on the voice a little bit more than just kind of having him repeat the same things over and over again. <laughs> theme is Freddy Krueger. What's not to like about Freddy Krueger? Of course, uh, you know, obviously a, a horror movie series franchise that uh, has stood the test of time. So now we're in Nightmare 3. Got a little multi-ball started. As you notice, there was a magnet to the area to the left. Pulled the ball around, kicked it out at me. So replayability on this is not super great. I would say that it's a decent table for its time. Obviously, if you like the movie franchise, you will like this game. But it just seems like it's missing something to me. And again, got look for its time. This was ahead of its time. So art could be better. Uh, theme is, is not bad for a horror theme uh, pinball machine. Replayability is low, average. Uh, fun factor is average on this game. Um, obviously, gameplay is okay. It's not superbly great. But other than that, we're going to score this an 8.4 out of 10. Again, that is 8.4. So please look underneath our YouTube video for the metrics. There, we'll break it all down for you. But beyond that, Thank you for watching today. Till next time, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off. Thank you again.